Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna answer some of your electrolysis questions. There's loads of questions that people comment on my videos. I may have answered some of them in previous videos, but you might have missed it. So I've clicked on the video that's called, is electrolysis really permanent? It's just a short video that I filmed answering that question. So I'm in the comment section. I'm gonna scroll through and let's see what questions we've got. Someone said, I have neck and chin hairs that are lengthy and have not been plucked or waxed in a very long time. What phase would you say those hairs are in? I wouldn't know what stage the hair is in unless I take the hair out and I look at the root. Should I trim them to stimulate growth since I'll be going into my first electrolysis on Friday? You don't have to trim the hair. So someone said, where did you go to get your sessions done? So I was getting my sessions done by my colleague. I've left that salon now um, and she is not a beauty therapist anymore. What I'm planning on doing is trying out different salons and filming almost a review. If I find good salons where I'm happy with their electrolysis, I will recommend on here if I get their permission. I have a video on what I recommend, but I'm actually gonna film this journey so that you can see what I'm talking about in action when it comes to my tips and advice on finding a new salon. So I'll, I will film that, um, but I'll link the video that I have already filmed in terms of how to find a good place, just in case you're not in London. I'll link it in the eye at the top. Someone said, it seems like I have even more hair after electrolysis, is this possible? No, it is impossible for electrolysis to stimulate more hair growth. So if you have noticed more hair growth after electrolysis, it was either done incorrectly or it was something else that has caused it. And I'm also very sorry to hear that you do have more hair growth after it and that you've experienced this because I know how awful it is to try something like when I tried laser and then noticed more hair growth, it's just the worst thing. But yeah, it is impossible for electrolysis to cause that. Someone said, do you recommend this at 15? I'm starting to grow hair on my chin. They are light but noticeable, but they do bother me. Uh, I want to get this treatment done early so I won't have to worry about it anymore. Do you think I should wait until I am done fully growing? I personally don't recommend that you get it done until you're 18. And that's because at the age of 15, your hormones might not, they may not be completely stable. So if you get, I know people who got laser done when they were like 15, 16, um, and they felt like the hair was cleared, but then when they got to a certain age, they noticed that the hair was coming back. So they wasted their time and their money on getting those laser sessions. I know the feeling of hair that is on your chin and it's bothering you but you need to try your best to just leave it alone don't touch the hair uh, until you're 18 that's what i recommend are there ever cases where it works with just one treatment there are cases where you see results with just one treatment but in terms of getting your final end result no each individual hair needs to have a few treatments and then it will stop growing. So that's why you need treatments done over a certain period of time, especially because not all of your facial hair is growing all at one time. There are some that have gone into the telogen stage, have shedded, but that hair follicle is still able to grow a new hair. It's almost like some hair follicles are active and some hair follicles are asleep and that's why you need treatments over a period of time and it doesn't, you're not gonna get your final result just with one treatment. Someone said, can I pluck or thread my eyebrows if I'm doing electrolysis on my chin and mustache? If you're getting electrolysis done here and here, but you're threading here, it's not gonna affect it. Um, you're just not allowed to remove the hair where you're getting electrolysis done, like in that area. Okay, I'm gonna answer the last question on this video, which is, are scars caused from electrolysis also permanent? So for those of you who don't know, scarring and pigmentation is a risk that comes with electrolysis. It's very, it's a very, very, very small risk. 
um, it happens if the treatment is not done properly or if the aftercare isn't followed properly um, or it could just be because you're prone to scarring but if you have experienced scarring from electrolysis it may or may not be permanent scarring can take up to two years to heal um, so you might have scarring from electrolysis but in two years time it will just your skin will repair that scar and it will heal but in some cases it won't and it will be permanent that is the end of the video i'll film another one where i click on another video and i'll answer those questions but that is it from me today i hope to see you next time bye